Hello, this is a continuation of how to create a hard pattern brush tutorial. It is recommended that you have seen the first part. To view it, just click on this preview window. Today I'm going to show you how to apply this brush to text. First, type your text and make sure it is selected. Then go to Type and select Create Outlines. Let's swap the fill and the stroke. To do that, press the Shift and X keys on your keyboard or click on this double-sided arrow. Next, right-click with your mouse and choose Ungroup. This will allow you to select individual shapes. Now select everything, open the Brushes panel and click on the hard brush we've created in the previous tutorial. And of course, the brush stroke is way too big. To fix it, open the stroke panel and change the weight to a lower value. Using this method will give you this double stroke effect. If you prefer a single stroke, first let's go back a few steps. Now switch to the direct selection tool and drag a box around the top right anchor point of the letter L shape to select it. Then press the delete key on your keyboard. And do the same with all the unwanted anchor points. Let's keep this middle segment and delete the other ones. Select the middle line and move it down. You could leave the V shape as it is or you can make it pointier. Select the anchor point on the left and move it to the center. Now press the minus button on your keyboard to switch to the Delete Anchor Point tool or select it from the toolbar panel. And click on this anchor point to delete it. Next, using the Selection tool, select everything, then go to Brushes and select the hard brush and change the weight to a lower value. Next, we'll make a few changes. Let's make this line a little longer and move it to the left. Now select this anchor point and using the Convert Anchor Point tool, let's make this corner a little smoother. Click on it, hold and drag. Next, switch to the Selection tool, drag a box to select everything and double click on the hard brush. Now, if you like, you can adjust the spacing and click Apply to Strokes. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.